Okay, first up, I'm going to go ahead and do the video on the foreign items. Um, we're going to start up top here. We got some uh, 1943, relatively nice. They call this Tomback nickels. Five cents. So they're they're not the nickel or the steel composition that you know we're used to seeing during this time. This was a change during World War II. And these are 88% copper, 12% zinc. So that's why these are you know it's interesting. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, there you go. George the six on the reverse. I got two of these. Picked them up for like a quarter a piece. Uh, got some Edwardian and George V large cents. These ones I got for free. So there we go. The lighting's kind of funny in here. It's always dark in, in my house. So that's what these look like. And 1920 is the last year that they made the Canadian large cent. And it went over to the small cent, which I do have a couple examples to show you. So that's what these guys look like. You know, all average circulated. No key dates. I don't even know what the key date is. I think it's uh, maybe what, 1914? You know, a Canadian expert might be able to shed some light and give more information on that. So, not bad. Um, got those with purchase of a couple other coins, which I'll show you in the broadcast. Uh, let's see, I got a, uh, got a couple British pieces here. Okay, so we're going to start with this uh, 1853 one penny. Pretty interesting, you know, the reason why I'm a big stickler about calling our United States one cent coins cents is because that's what they are. Pennies are, you know, that's the terminology that's used here in Britain, or there in Britain. I'm not in Britain yet. Okay, and then that's the reverse. Really pretty coin. This particular coin is in great shape. Nice brown chocolatey surfaces, uh, surface. Okay, this is the older Queen Victoria. She's not too flattering as far as the look. And the darker these coins are, the harder, the, the the tougher they are to video, specifically because it just drowns out all the detail. Okay, you're familiar with this reverse, Britannia. Okay, what is this? 1897. Picked that up for a song and a dance. Here's a uh, farthing. I think. If I'm not mistaken, this is the lowest denomination of coin. It's smaller than the half penny, but it's bigger than the half penny. If I'm correct, actually, it's bigger than like the three pence. Yeah, that's right, the silver coins. Queen Victoria, this one's in really nice shape. If only I could get the, the light to not be on the reflection of the two by two, we'd be in business. There's the reverse Britannia farthing. Okay, I picked up a group of three pence. This is an 1885. Okay, there we go. Queen Victoria, the young head is what they call this. Right before I get, got to the old head, the later 19th century stuff. Okay, and the reverse is like that. All right, pretty neat coins. You know, they got they got a little bit of silver. The ones before what 1920 are sterling, 0.925, and then several years after that, it's 50%. Here's a 1891. That's the the Jubilee older head on there. So that's what that one looks like. The reverse, yeah, it's similar, similar to that other uh, 1885 I showed you. It's got the big three with a a wreath and then the date and the crown on top. Here's some of the 50% silvers. 34. That's uh, was a George V. And then the reverse is a little bit different. A different design change for this year. Okay, and a pair of 41s. I'll just show you one because they're they're on par grade wise. 
There we go. That's what that one looks like. Okay. All right. And I threw in a silver Washington. Got this for five bucks. Nice, lustrous, you know, un uncirculated with a little toning on the rim. 56, Philadelphia. You know, as nice as this looks, it doesn't sell for too, too heck of a lot over premium, of a premium over spot, which stinks because there's a lot of them out there and they look good. Here's a couple of uh, Canadian small sets. So after 1920, these were made. 27. Not exactly a key date. It's worth a dollar or so. You know, it's got uh, George the Fifth. George V. Get it eventually. Okay, so it continues on that. Here's a semi key. 24. Got this one for 50 cents. The big keys for these uh, the small sets 23. Uh, let's see what else 22 I believe and 25. You know you're gonna pay some money for those. And then I got a whole soiree of 59 1859 Victorians. Okay, it's gonna be tough to pick out what these look like. But I got I got like eight of them here. Eight of them in various states. Uh, Let's we'll see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six fifty nines. And what I do is I'm gonna go through these. Vickysent.com. Um, Doctor Haxby, who's a specialist in these type of coins, has a whole die variety thing going on on his website. So if you wanted to attribute these. 1859s, which are highly collectible, you know, uh, based off die cracks and everything else. That's what I intend on doing. Now I picked up some uber cheap Victorian large cents. Aside from the 59s, I got 88. Picked this 94 up for two dollars. It apparently it's got a variety on it, a crude four, where the four looks all chunky and filled in on there, and it's not as refined and detailed as the plane for so that's a nice pick uh, another 1894 this is a semi-key date and I got two of them here the uh, 1858 is the big key 1901 okay so that's the foreign stuff uh, I have more coming up so uh, please do not go away more to come Thanks again, guys, for watching. Any questions, comments, uh, of course, you know where to leave them. Um, you know, and uh, I appreciate all the feedback, as always. Good, bad, positive, negative. Um, it's a learning experience, and it still continue will be. It will keep going, you know. Um, it's a Sunday, so my uh, English isn't too good today. But anyways, pop in in a few other videos coming up. Uh, I'll see you later.